Hey, this is Dante, and today I'm going to be reviewing uh, Smart Sync True Alerts. I'm not going to review this one because I already reviewed that. I already reviewed the addressable ones. So I'm going to be reviewing my two Smart Sync True Alerts. So, well, not reviewing them. I'm telling you all about them. And if you ever wanted, a, if you have the SCM, if you have the proper SCM, and if you want to purchase, and it's a smart sync truler to get the feel of it and how it works. I always want, I always recommend just the indoor units like this first generation truler right here, the 94, the 49 out of 394 17. I don't recommend outdoor ones because, because they, they have an extra handicap. As if you, if you've been seeing my videos, you already know what I'm talking about. These things will these things will not work right. These things weatherproof trulers do not like to work right. They like as they tend to betray not just collectors but technicians um, and even building staff if they if it if if they are installed in there because biggest reason is strobe. If you manage to get the strobe to work. If you if if you if you manage to code the horn to a to one of the actual codings whenever it's by the panel or by the um or by the uh, SCM the strobe will not flash even if you put in the pro even if you input the proper twenty four volt DC and if you do manage to get the strobe to work the horn's gonna get off code the horn's gonna code itself which is not an actual code, it's going to do a very slow march time and skip whenever the strobe flashes. Similar to that of a Wheelock 7002T. These don't like to work to their best potential. So I don't recommend you get weatherproof trulers. Not all of that, the handicaps, but they're also expensive too. But... And and the way they work, I just don't I don't I don't like I I, I love the reason why I bought it is because I love the downward slanting grill, but I do not like the way they the how differently they work. It's ridiculous. Why did Simplex design them that way? And that's also why I referred to weatherproof smart sync true alerts as super smart sync for that reason. And um yeah, I always, I always try. If you want a smart sync truler, if you, if you have the SCM or a simplex panel that controls smart sync, get an indoor version. Get the indoor, get the indoor models that simplex has available, or the discontinued forty nine out of three smart sync trulers. Get the indoor, get only the indoor units. Otherwise, if you manage to get an outdoor one, they're they're, they're gonna the the operation is gonna suck. The operation is gonna mess with you. The operation, you're not going to be very happy with the way these things operate. And if, like I said, if you've seen my channel, you already know what I'm talking about when it comes to the, when it comes to these. Weatherproof smart sync trulers are a pain in the ass to operate. That's why I don't recommend you. That's why I don't recommend these for collectors because they are, they are literally the worst. One of the, the second worst user friend, the, the second worst on the user friendliness scale when it comes to true alerts. The first, the first, the worst of the user friendliness, obviously being the addressable units. The worst of the worst, obviously being the addressable units. This includes the Truler ES because those are also addressable. So if you want a true alert, that's smart sync. Always get the indoor ones. These try to stay away from because they don't like to work. Because like I said, they don't like, they don't, they won't let you, they won't let you work them right. I don't understand why Simplex did this, but it's something that they need to fix. So anyways, thank you for watching.